Hey guys, this is Jen Raza from Our Change of Art, and as you can see, I've got a special guest here today. Hey. Any guess on who he is? Yeah, you guessed correctly. We're assuming that you did. This is my husband Dave, and he'll be joining in the craft room. We'll both be making a video for the Paper Tray Ink Challenge of using melon and aqua. Mm. Hmm. Do you have any idea what you're going to make? Not a clue. Yeah, me either. But we have some supplies that are the right colors out, we have some Paper Tray Ink products, so we'll just see how this goes. Let's get started. So I'm going to start off by making my card base and Dave's card base. I'm kind of venturing away from my usual Nina Solar White and I'm using the Recollections uh, Heavyweight cardstock. This is 110 pound and it, usually their cardstock is not very good, but I actually really like the Heavyweight. It's perfect for um, one layer card bases. So I sliced it right in half and now I'm going to use my mini Martha Stewart scoring board. And Dave, I'll do yours first. So Thank you. Can you kind of get a head start. <laughs> and neither of us have really uh, planned out our card that much, but we'll just be winging it as we go along. And again, I'm scoring at four and a quarter to make a standard A2 size card. So as you can see, both of us are filming vertically. Uh, when I edit it, I'll put them side by side, and it's very awkward for me. I'm not used to doing it vertically like this. What do you think about that, Dave? Um, yeah, it's going to be a little weird. <laughs> I don't know if my hands will fit. <laughs> yeah, your hands are definitely bigger than mine. Hmm. Now, I just recently got this great paper pack. This is the Market Street uh, from My Mind's Eye. and. I had my eye on this stripes, and I really like the aqua color. It's perfect for this challenge. And I also like that it kind of looks like it's hand painted. And I think I'm going to make my card um, landscape orientation instead of portrait. So I want the stripes to go this way. So give, give me a second while I just go ahead and slice that. And what are you up to, Dave? Uh, unfortunately, not being a much better video presenter here by having a blank card and some ink because I'm still thinking about what's going to go where. So. Well, I see you're looking at some of the paper tray ink stamps. What was catching so, your eye? So, we've got City Scene here with the various buildings and cars and such. I'm just trying to figure out a little setting there before I get started on anything else. So. Got some little blocks here for the city buildings, a little car. I'm going to work with that once I get my brain together because I'm going to go with this exactly. Now, do you want to tell our YouTube viewers anything about your card making experience? So, I think I've totaled about, oh, what, four cards over the past six years. So, not a bad record, I'd say. <laughs> And Dave was actually published in Papercraft That's magazine, right. which was really exciting. I don't remember the issue offhand. It was the repurposing theme. I can't remember what it's called. I can't remember either. Yeah. We had a little note card set. Something like that. Right, now that I have adhered my pattern paper to my card base, I'll be using this set from Paper Tray Ink. This is the Year of Flowers Roses. And I'll be mounting the large rose to my Fiskars stamp press. Since this is a big stamp, I like using the stamp press to make sure I have good coverage. And I just have an extra piece of white cardstock here. This actually is the Nina, Sol Nina Solar White. And I'll be stamping onto this using some black ink. I have a Memento Tuxedo Black. And Dave, I see you've got an ink blender over there. I do, and I've got a little bit of the Hero Arts, oh my god, name of Fresh Peach, and I'm kind of just trying to blend in here a little bit to get started. And are you going for just like a standard blended background, or? Kind of. Kind of, okay. <laughs> You say standard blended background as if I should know what that means. Well, that's not really even a thing, I just kind of made that up. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Because I don't know if you're doing stripes, because that would be kind of cool to have. No, I'm just going to do standard blended background okay. in that case. Trying to do a little sky scene here, and forgive me if it looks awful when I start, because, again, this is still new to me. Yeah, so, Dave I mean, has never used the blender. I, I'm, I'm 
intrigued by this tool. I actually haven't used it much either. I do want to get more into ink blending though. I, I really respect everything that the other card makers can do with them. So if anyone can tell me in, in any section or comments here if I'm doing something wrong, go nuts because I'd be happy to learn. So far it looks so good over there, hon. Really? Yeah. All right then. <laughs> All right, now that I have my rose stamped out, I'm going to cut around it with, um, what are these? Cutter bees, the cutter bee scissors. And I'm actually doing something a little unconventional. I'm just going to leave this flower black and white, kind of like a coloring book instead of coloring it in. I'm going to be incorporating the, um, oh, what color is it? Why can't I remember? Hold on. The pink color. I don't remember what, <laughs> what the challenge was. <laughs> melon! That's right, the melon color. I'll be incorporating the melon color elsewhere in my card, so oh, that's I hope this looks good. I haven't tried this out yet. Mm. And I'm leaving a bit of a border around the outer edge of this stamped image. All right, how's it going over there, Dave? Oh. This sounds like you're in distress. Well, I'm not going to start over, so I'm going to see how this keeps going. All right, maybe I could help. What's, what's the issue? Blending the two colors, kind of. Okay, well, they're going to be kind of hard colors to blend anyway, since well, they're... Well, even like, I'm getting, I'm so trying different. to stamp and blend at the same time, so I'm trying to blend out the square edge from the mark and the stamp thing here, the blender. Um, In my minimal experience with the blender, I would say pick up a little less ink and use a lighter touch. It'll take more applications, but so you'll be able time. to... Yes. Uh, see, that should be my name is the Lazy Carpenter. <laughs> Because that's going to be the running gag today, apparently, with me. So, honestly, I'm just happy to be here to be part of this experience. Are you so, really? Because I think I kind of, like, woke you up from your nap and made you do it. Oh, you absolutely did. <laughs> but in all fairness, I would have done not much else today. So, it's a half. I'm glad to do something. And again, I'm, this is, like, me just kind of swing at the dark here, right? This stuff actually works. So, hey, it'll be fun for the rest of everyone else watching. Now, this is obviously an experiment for both of us, but let's say the viewers really like it. Would you like to do it again? <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, if, you're, if your hits go up after this video, then yes, I will. If they drop, I'll just abandon and, and not bring down the ship with you. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. I actually really like how this looks. What do you think, Dave? I like it. That's a, that's a big old flower. It is a big old flower. Oh, I like the stripes. So far, I don't, I don't know what else to do. Um, to bring in the melon color, I do have these cute sequins. These are the Ellen Hudson peach color. And as another option, I have my mind's eye. And these little uh, enamel dots include a, a peachy, melony pink color. Hmm. Uh. I, did, right. I have the feeling of the eyes of judgment of the card makers on me right now. <laughs> you know what? Everybody's really nice. It's not like in the video gaming community when you go online and people... Oh, they're awful. <laughs> ...like say horrible things to one another. I, I, I try not to go on there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, honestly, there are a few people here or there who will say things that are not nice, but I really don't come across that very often. I'm apparently going to come up for this, so get ready. <laughs> All right, I'm trading my itty-bitty scissors for... Uh, these larger ones. These are uh, nonstick Teflon scissors from Fiskars, and they will also help me cut my adhesive. I'm using the foam tape on a roll because it is cheap and it is my absolute favorite foam tape. And I'm just <laughs> adhering these all over my fingers to hold them while I get ready to adhere them to the back of the rose. When you have a chance, I'm going to need some sort of, hmm, I'm going to say black cardstock. Okay. Or dark gray if you don't have black. Um, <laughs> Actually, you I, know what? I you, have black. <laughs> do you have a gray of any sort? I've got kind of a medium tone gray, nothing. You know what? Let me see both and I'll just figure out whichever oh, wait. looks decent. Oh, wait. Maybe I do have a darker one. Yeah. I mean, it has to be crazy dark. No spoilers, like asphalt yeah. gray. Okay, here's the medium tone gray, and then here's the, are you looking? Oh, <laughs> uh, no, it was not. Here's the dark, medium, dark, or black. Do the medium guy in, the, in your other hand, other hand, This sorry. is medium. Sorry. This is one. dark. That one, bingo. Okay. Um, and this is your Such a Gracious Host Clear and Simple Stamps cardstock. Do you want me to give you the whole pack or take out a sheet? Please? I need about one sheet, if anything, huh? Okay. 
I wonder if any other card maker husbands are going to be suckered into doing this. <laughs> you know, all the wives are going to be like, oh, well, Jen's husband did it. Now you have to do it, too. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm not responsible for what happens after this. Oh, and I'm realizing the paper trimmers on my table. Do you, do you uh, need that or do you want to use the Give me a tiny guy. I'll be fine one. with the little dude, yeah. Okay. That'll, that'll survive well. All right, so instead of using my tonic guillotine, I'm going to toss Dave the uh, Fiskers. Oh, yeah. Oh, the little one, yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, Dave, on your camera, it caps out at 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, well not bad. mine's still going. We'll have to turn you back on. All right, well, look, there's a gap after the lap in Fisker, so, or whatever. There can be a little gut, cut there. So apparently it's taking longer than 10 minutes. <laughs> Ballpark. All right, you are back on. Well, we're going to edit anyway, so I don't care. I didn't move well, no, we'll, we'll keep that in. We don't have to edit that out. Because mine's minutes. still the rolling. <laughs> yeah. The... Awesome. I was just assuming we were nearing the 10-minute mark. You were correct. The lips just come back. What? <laughs> I don't know what's going no, on. No, the sun is changing and I'm getting some glare at the bottom. Okay. Okay, so now I'm back and I'm adhering my rose. And you know what? I'm not going to put it down yet. I think I want some. Maybe I'll use your gray too. Or do I want black? I'm considering embossing my sentiment. I think I want a strip of black. All right, so I just have some paper tray ink. They have black card stock right over here. Let's go under here. I thought I knew this one. Do you know how to use it? Apparently not. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh yeah, there's a little safety lock on no, it. No, but like it's a double safety even. Like it was beyond even my normal use of safety locks. Sounds like Goldilocks. All right, why don't you talk for a bit? Because I'm going to look for a stamp set for my sentiment. I don't think I want to use the one in that set. Oh, that's not going to work out for anyone. Just, just go ahead and talk. <laughs> About what? Whatever. Whatever you're making. So, I've got my little sky and little sunset slash grass on the bottom. And hopefully I've got some uh, strip of asphalt coming to block that off in a second. So we're going to see this all turns out anyway. Um, Again, I think we know who's going to have the better card after this little experiment here. So, because after all, it doesn't matter which card is better. Very important. All right, well, I'm back. <laughs> and I think I'm going to use the handwritten note set from Avriel. And it says happy birthday to you. I'm just going to selectively ink so that it's only happy birthday. And as I said, I'm just going to be um, embossing this onto the black cardstock. So to get it ready, I have um, some cornstarch. I actually recently showed this in my online card class video. Instead of using one of those powder bags, I use cornstarch and it, it works great and it's super cheap. And I don't think I'm ever going to run out. And I use a brush and put it on. You are going to see the white powder, but trust me, it will go away when you brush it off later. And it does a really good at good job of preventing the stray bits of embossing powder from getting everywhere, especially when you're embossing white on black, because that is the most noticeable. But I do have a fix. If for some reason I mess up, I can, I can show you a way to cover it up. Quick request of a few items. Okay. What do you need? Need some black ink. Okay. Little Here, I'll give you the Hero Arts black. That one's super juicy. Oh, uh, be careful. Um, I'm also going to need a small pair of tiny scissors. Tiny and scissors right here. The little bumblebee guys? Yes. Oh, I like these. So I know some stuff. And then the last thing is when you have a mono, because it's not a rush, is um, mm, some sort of adhesive. I don't think I want the foam guys. Probably um. not. Like well, a little like runner. Flat adhesive? Yeah, a little runner. I have this part. super ATG gun. Maybe too much. Okay. <laughs> you got to be small with that? Yes. I have this little guy. Um, not Perfect. really sure. 
That'll be fine. Okay. Oh, recollection's a little permanent adhesive will be fine. <laughs> nice product endorsement there, Dave. Hey, got her in the big bucks. Well, clumpy embossing powder. So, let's see if I can just lay out my little cityscape here in the background. Or building scape, I guess. All right, Dave, you're gonna have to talk again too while I do my oh, man. embossing done stuff over this, here. This is not what I was called in here for. You knew you were gonna make a card with me. I had to talk though, oh man. This is just like intense. Well, tell me what you're doing. So tell everybody what you're I'm doing. trying to put up a little cityscape here in the background before I start laying down the rest of this stuff. So I'm trying to make like a little pretend city that looks normal. Now, I don't know if you noticed, those city stamps are like two-step, so there's Some a are. corresponding... Okay, so you did figure that out, right? Well, there's like skyscrapers that just do their own thing, and there's Eiffel Towers, and there's apartment buildings that do kind of go together. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Okay. I'm going for a simple today. I'm not going to try to, you know, use my first attempt at lining up two stamps together on top of each other in any sort of way today, because... That's true. No one's here to watch that. Let's admit it. Just take it easy. Exactly. Alright, I'm gonna let this cool off for a second before I brush away the excess powder, but you'll see it'll disappear. And then I'm gonna cut the rest of the strip again using the tonic guillotine. And that's a little trick I didn't think of. But then I'm gonna have some sky popping through the background of my city. That's fine. I know I'm debating how this to do now, so I'm gonna have to rework Whoa. some things here. Replan a little bit. I don't always think things through sometimes, and that's quite all right. Okay, now this strip isn't long enough to go across, I thought it was. So the flower is going to be adhered on top like this. So I can just cut right in that spot and then adhere the two parts separately, and the flower will cover up the seam, and you'll never know. And what's nice is the stripes are here to help me line up the cardstock. Wish we could track metrics of who's watching which side of the screen more. I think I know how it would turn out. Why? Which side do you think? Your side. Why? You're doing a great job, but people are interested to see what's going on over there. As a novelty. <laughs> yes, as a novelty. <laughs> but also because it looks like you're doing a good job. Uh, you know me. I don't believe my own work until I'm completely over it. <laughs> Trying to freehand cut this. We'll see how well I do. Come on, tiny scissors, don't fail me now. Just gonna cut some of that excess off. What's going on with that building? What's up? Uh, again, I'm just trying to figure out some of these little. What they. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little building looks like a door drops lower than the rest of the building. See that one here? Like, why is the oh, door drop low there? Because that's the second step stamp. Oh, this is the two for part? Yeah, so you're supposed to oh, the outline. stamp the other part first and oh, you want to stamp that on top. I'm in over my head. <laughs> it's okay, just stamp however you want. <laughs> Dave, it's really okay, I promise. <laughs> looks like someone's leaving the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to see how this goes. All right, and I'm almost done with mine, so I could even help you with yours. If you need. <laughs> Can we really put four sets of hands? Or, sorry, <laughs> four hands, two sets. All the right, and my, my camera's going to turn off in a minute. Mine caps out at 20 minutes, so you'll see. <laughs> we can tell this is a long video. Wow. It's okay. Sorry for slowing you down, folks. All right, now here's where I wish I was like... Debbie Hughes because she can always put the sentiments in the right spot and I'm clearly not the only person who thinks that um, Laura Basson just made a video and she mentioned the same thing I'm not sure if it was one of the online card class videos or if it was one that was public on her YouTube channel but she is so correct I I never know what to do I'm kind of tempted just to randomly drop them and then see where they land all right that didn't work 
Maybe Dave, we could we could swap and you could put my sequins on, and I'll do whatever it is that's bothering you over there. No one wants that to happen. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's just see if Dave can make something work. How do you guys take the pressure of laying down a stamp and not screwing it up? That's this is intense. It is intense. I. I don't even know if I like these things yeah. on here. So that's just Windows. Good. That's what I kind of expected. <laughs> <laughs> if you can believe that, folks. How'd you do that straight black line? Oh, that's the cardstock that you adhered. Ah. I thought you inked it. I'm like, no way. <laughs> that's fabulous. No way Dave could pull that I'm off. I'm like, maybe he did some inking and masking. No, Dave did some know. cutting square paper with a square line cutter. Yeah, I can handle that stuff. All right, mine fun. totally turned off. I'm not really sure when, but here we go. All right, now mine's back. Mine is back on. I'm not sure how much you missed on my side of the camera over here, but I've just been moving these sequins around. Well, you didn't miss anything over here, so. And not having any clue oh, where to this put is them. So nerve wracking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I could not do this on nearly a frequent basis without losing my mind. Eh, alright, close enough. Oh. I wouldn't that's say this cool. building passes code, but that's alright. We'll just let that one You got like a neat silhouette look going on over there. Yeah. Alright, I might just have to stick them there. I'm oh, out. you just lost your like, next 10 minutes. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> this is not going well. This may be like the longest video <laughs> I've ever made. <laughs> Sorry. I'm telling you, it's buying me more time to find out where these sequins belong. <laughs> Still missing stuff? I have no idea where to put them. Oh, right, that thing. I, and I need to incorporate this color. I can't just leave it. So I'm back on, right? You're back on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like such shoddy work. See, when I put them on, they just look like they were an afterthought. They don't look deliberate. <sighs> oh, you're a little crooked, city. So Let me move this up to the center frame over here. I keep forgetting it's vertical and tall. Right. I'm not used to that. All right, I think I might just Whoa. put them here. I don't know. It's a little shanty building here. All right, that should be good. How many more buildings you can do? Oh, not many. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> I don't want to take any chances. No, that's good. Can I see it? I would do one little little guy. Oh, I like it. I need one more little building in the front because that's really close and mm -hmm. I might need a taller street too. I gotta figure that out. <laughs> I like your background. It that came out nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Kind of surprised it came out looking like that. So I think it's good. I'm surprised it came out looking like that. Alright, and just because I can't figure out the placement, I'm going to commit to where these are right now. Um, my glossy accents, I can't use them to adhere right now because it's all clogged up. And I have to, like, figure out how to <laughs> unclog it. So I'll be using Tombow Mono Multi-Glue. I'm not sure if it's going to hold them down as well as the glossy accents would, but... I don't think anybody's going to be ripping at these to pull them off. I might. We don't. Well, it looks like candy, so, you know. Do they? I don't think they look like candy. Are those the smooth, shiny ones, like the clear, shiny ones? They're opaque. They're not, they're like, um, just shiny, but no. they're not clear. Mm, opaque, though. That could get me. All right, like I'm going to call my card done. Yeah. Right here. I'm not really sure what to do while you're finishing yours. I didn't consider that we might finish at different times. Really? Really? <laughs> That I might take a little longer to wrap this up. Well, if you want to help me out, I'm going to need a little um, white markery guide so I can marker this up. What are you doing with the white marker? Uh, my road needs to have. Actually, it might be cooler or better if we do little um, thin yellow strips like a double lane road. Do you know how long it's going to take to adhere thin yellow strips? Then let's go with the little white dot lines instead. Or you could just leave it. Yeah, I need the white dots. I can do a little dash. Again, I'm just going to freehand it real quick. That's like a last minute thought, though. Car goes on, then boom, that. I'm coming into your frame. <laughs> so if you see some extra feminine hands, no, it's still Jen. 
That's supposed to line up. Oh man. Uh. <laughs> My little shanty town. That's great. I think it looks good. <laughs> Actually, you probably do the white dots first to get them in the white first, and the car gets going. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. What well, is this bad boy? Jelly roll. Like it. Okay. Now I have a quiz question for you. I don't know if you guys are aware, but Dave watches card videos with me yeah. sometimes. Which card maker often puts white dash lines on her card? And which card maker gave Dave the idea that he's doing right now? All right, what's her name? Wait, me? Yeah, I'm asking you. Pfft. Sorry to whoever it is, I'm not good with names. Think about it. Well, I'm going to assume, oh, this is slanty a little bit, uh, if it's a clue that it's some other card making gen? Nope. Oh, then I have no idea. Think about it. Who does the dash lines? I don't know. Okay, she also has a cat. Hmm, a cat named Manny, I assume. Yes, okay. That's the so same you, one? So, yeah, what, who, what's her name? The one who does the dash lines. Manny, I'm sorry, I don't remember your owner's name. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. K.W. Oh, Christina Werner. Yay! See, I know the names, <laughs> but I don't know who, what they do. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry to those people. Okay, and then... Little car. Ah, oh, the wheelless one. Is there one with wheels? Yeah, but it's a taxi. Oh, this goes over top of the taxi. No, you you do them separate. The taxi right? and the no. The, oh no, I this, think they all are missing wheels. No, the taxi has wheels. See? That's just the windows. And the taxi and Here, the wheels. So you guys can see what we're doing. I'll draw on some wheels. Yeah, I'm not wasting okay. time with this. <laughs> it's. Yeah, I'll get you a black pen. Yeah, thank you. Because that's bizarre. See, when you come into a stamp set you know nothing about, you have these problems. Alright, this is uh, a just smudged. Uh, is jelly roll. Any way to fix that little smudge in this guy? I'll, I'll give it a try. Sometimes when it's still wet, I can use an eraser. <laughs> I love that my side's just hanging out here. <laughs> nothing happening over there. If anyone is interested, we'll probably not be doing this again anytime soon. Oh no, we will. We'll just plan out Dave's car far in advance and he'll just card and he'll just, you know, have to assemble pieces together without thinking too much about it because this is kind of a fly-by-wire situation and we're seeing how well that's turning out. I guess some of it. Would yeah. more blue help? The problem is if you put the blender back on you might... Blend in the black? No, you might make it um, obvious that you're putting... like it might be hard to blend through. You know really. what? Whatever. Close enough. And then where's that little sentiment I wanted I put aside like five hours ago? Boom. And what's the sentiment you're choosing? I am choosing from Paper Tray Inc.'s little pedal pusher, which has a humongous bicycle that won't fit in the cityscape. But I've got a little saying here that I thought was kind of cool and hence led okay, to the Okay, do you want to use a smaller car. block? Nah, I like Are you sure? Thing. Okay. Yeah. I was going to give you one of my blocks. This block is fine. It's not going to have script to it, actually. So. You want me to hold this down? Uh, yeah, that might help or not. I don't know. And I hope this placement looks good. I think it looks great. Just lift straight up so it doesn't smudge. I think the problem smudged my hands. Close enough. That looks great! Yay! Alright! All right. So we are finished. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you give us lots of positive encouragement, maybe we could Dave get Dave to do this again sometime. Don't count on it! Yay! Alright, bye!